In Deuteronomy 6, verse 17, it says, Be sure to keep the commands of the Lord your God and the stipulations and decrees he has given you. Just as a strong combo requires precision and timing, our walk with God requires obedience and faithfulness. As you master the job, cross punch, front kick combo, remember to stay in step with God's commands and decrees. Through faith in Jesus Christ, we can land a knockout punch against sin and darkness and stand victorious in God's love and grace. I'm Ramon Hunter. <laughs> Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the jab, cross punch, front kick combo. There are many different combos, many different combinations of boxing, kickboxing in martial arts. And this is just one of them. You get a full body workout from this exercise, strengthen the upper body, lower body. You get a good core workout, nice cardio, endurance training, balance, a whole barrage of different benefits from this exercise. All right. This exercise for anybody, it can be done anywhere, it can be done at home, it can be done in your room, it can be done uh, at the park, it can be done at the gym. It's a wonderful exercise to really incorporate into the exercise program. If you want something uh, different, uh, if, you want to, if you want to put a little spin into the exercise program, this is a wonderful exercise where you really get a good workout and it teaches you a lot about self-defense. All right, so the starting position is a combination of the different uh, boxing techniques and, and kicks and strikes that I had shown you from before. I was putting, I was putting them together for you in a, combi in a combo, all right? which can be done um, with the other kickboxing type strikes and punches that I had shown. You start with feet shoulder width apart. You're going to step back into yeah, a step width apart into a boxing stance or a fighting stance. You want to make sure that you keep both knees soft. You want to keep them supple, bend them slightly. Brace your core, keep the core nice and tight. Keep the elbows tucked in and the hands by your jaw. In the event that the person may throw a strike, you have the elbows to block your midsection. You have the hands to block your jaw so you don't get knocked out. And you can follow through with a counter strike because you're already in that ready stance position. All right? So you're in this position, I'll show you from side view. You can either stand like this, or you can bring your feet a little bit closer together. You're going to go ahead and jab, cross punch. Make sure that as you're punching, the other hand is blocking the jaw. So I'm jabbing, cross punch, and then you're going to follow through with a front kick from the back leg. So this is where the paw comes in. You're going to go ahead and strike to the midsection of the opponent, or you can kick to the face, all right? Boom. Okay, so as you kick, you're going to thrust your hips forward into the kick. So you're going to put a lot of force <clears throat> from the hips <clears throat> into the kick. You want to hit the wind out of the person, <laughs> right? So again, jab to create that distance because you're going to follow through with the kick. Jab, cross punch, that's where the paw comes in from as well, from the cross punch as I said in my previous videos, and you're going to follow through with another power hole strike from the front kick, all right? Cross punch, <coughs> front kick, all right? So it's like <coughs> Right, you got it? Power hose kick, okay? So again, jab, cross punch, you're going to move your hips into it, right? <coughs> Notice, the movements of my hips, cock, cut the knee, <clears throat> and strike. <clears throat> Extend, <clears throat> right? Boom, <clears throat> right into the midsection, hitting the windows of the person. <clears throat> so if the person has their guard up, they can come right in to break down the guard with the jab in, so they can lower the guard, lower their defense. As the lower defense, just going for another strike. <clears throat> As you're going for the strike right there, so you kind of stun them a little bit, you're going to follow through and finish them off with the front kick. Boom! Right in there, and then you can back off. If you want to run, you can go ahead and make a splurt for it. <laughs> right? So again, jab, cross punch, front kick. As you did the front kick, remember, notice that my hands are by the jaw. My hands are up there again. In the event that the person blocks it and counter strikes, okay, I have my guard up. So again, jab, cross punch, notice I'm pivoting, 
pivoting on the back leg, getting ready, cross punch, and then follow through with a front kick. Okay, so jab, cross punch, boom, front kick, front kick, boom. Jab, cross punch, front kick. Jab, cross punch, front kick. Jab, cross punch, front kick. All right? You can switch sides. Jab, cross punch, front kick. Remember, notice that as I do my front kick and I point to my toes like this, I cock in my foot, okay? So the toes are brought towards my face because you want to kick with the ball of your foot. So it's the ball of the foot that is making the impact. Not pointing the toes like this, you're not doing a, um, a flip strike. You're not doing a rapid kick. You know, something to just throw the person off, 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 off balance. But you're actually kicking with the ball of your foot. That's where the power coming from, the ball of the foot. All right? Because you're, you're moving in for a strike. You're being intentional about this one. All right? You're not doing a snap kick. Not a snap kick like that. You just point your toes. Don't point the toes. Cock it. In other words, bring it to your face so that you expose the ball of the foot and that is where the impact occurs. Jab, cross punch, front kick. All right, jab, cross punch, front kick. Jab, cross punch, front kick. Switch side, jab, cross punch, front kick. Jab, cross punch, front kick. All right, good. So again, there are many other combos that you can really, many other different strikes and, and attacks or punches that you can put together to make a combo, okay? And uh, once you get this, once you understand the principle, the concept behind this, you can make your, you can make your whole entire exercise program. You can do a nice cardio workout, learn a thing or two about self-defense and feel more confident in, 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 in you, feel more confident, you know? Boom, because you know how to defend yourself. You don't feel vulnerable. <clears throat> Boom, jab, cross punch, front kick, combo. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Roman Hunter. Have a wonderful day. Blessings.